In this video, we're going to be looking at CSS selectors and specificity. So uh, more advanced ways to select things instead of just looking at H1, H2, paragraph, or specific classes. We can be more specific and do more powerful things. So let's jump right into it. So uh, we know that we can select uh, a tag. So my I can select my paragraph tags by putting the P, or I can select my body by writing body, H1, H2, and all of that. And then in the last one, I showed that we can select multiple uh, ones at the same time. So let's just say I could do also my P and my H1, and I could say color is green, and the color of my paragraphs and my H1 will become green. So you know, that's, that's nice. Um, so here's one thing that's really important that I didn't mention before that I completely forgot about that is really important though is I've declared my paragraph color and my h1 color up higher so I have a body color I have my h1 color and I have an h1 color here and I have an h1 color down here and this one is winning and it's always the one that's farther down that wins so a lot like when I looked at my links before and the order that they were coming in it um, it's the last stuff at the bottom that wins so something you know if you're trying something and it's not working maybe you accidentally you know you're trying to change your paragraph color maybe you already changed it lower down just something to keep in mind that the one that's after always wins so uh, that's one of the things I wanted to look at um, the next one is I've changed my layout a little bit here so uh, the layout looks much the same but I've come and I've added a class of intro to my paragraph here and then I put a div of body text here that has a few paragraphs, a few links, and I've even added a class of important link to one of my links over here. So this link here is an important link. Uh, so let's come back into my CSS. And what I want to look at now uh, for the selectors is how we can select certain things. So we know we can select all of my paragraphs with by putting a p tag. But what if I don't want to select all my paragraphs? What if I only want to select uh, these two paragraphs here? Well, they're inside of my class of body text. And we know we can select my class of body text by putting dot body text. So if I do body text, let's do a few things here. Uh, I want to put a background on there just so we can sort of see the area. And one thing I found out between one of my earlier videos and this one, if you just do uh, not even CSS, just writing color picker, do a Google search for color picker. You don't need to go to any links or anything like that, like I showed you last time. Uh, you just get this awesome color picker right here. And come through, choose whatever color you want, and it works really, really well. So let's just go and choose a blue. I'll copy my hex code. And let's put that as my background color. Background, background color. Save that with my and I have my background and now I want uh, I don't like that my text is touching it on all the sides so I need more background think about it for a second we've covered this before how do I get more background I need to do what is it hope you said padding I'm sure you did and let's just do padding 50 pixels on all sides refresh there we go uh, so there's my intro paragraph and I've done that but now I need to change this a little bit I want to um, change the color of my text to white and then I have my links in there and I want those links to be different as well so what I can do is because if I do P it's gonna select all my paragraphs but what I can do is body text space P and what body space space P will do is it's going to select my paragraphs that are inside of body text so now if I do color white those ones become white but it ignores this paragraph so this is a really important thing to know that we're going to be using shortly and i really want to highlight it it's very useful and very good to know uh, so just to replicate that again it's hard to see these links here this color is really similar to the background so let's go to dot body text space a and let's come to my color picker again and choose a new color Let's get something that stands out. Copy that color. Oops, I need to write color. Save that. And, oh, I still can't really see that. It's too dark. It's a little bit better. 
And uh, I could even, right now I have a hover effect on these and I, that hover effect is gone. because So I can now do my body text A hover. And let's just make that a color of say DDD, which should be a very, very light gray. There we go. So I get my little hover effect on those and those are now different from these ones because they're inside of body text. And if I got rid of this here, save, uh, these would now get the same hover. So all of my links are getting the same hover because this hover is replacing that hover that I have up here. So let's undo that, save that. Um, so it's a nice way to distinguish between things without always having to add new classes to things and all of that. I don't need to give all of my links a class. I can just say that all of my links inside of this one thing have uh, this style to it. And uh, when I did this important link, I'm going to add this class up here too. Uh, a class important link. Uh, and the main reason is just to show you uh, even more that we can do with this. So if I have an important link, and uh, let's just say the color is yellow, it's important. So we really want it to stand out. And this one has become yellow, but this one hasn't become yellow, even though this one is an important link. So that's kind of weird, right? So what's happening in this case is uh, something called specificity, which I'm probably saying wrong and I struggle at it, so I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Um, but basically, we can actually get a calculator for this. So it's a specificity calculator CSS right here at the top and uh, what's happening is we have uh, our important link right here and our other link is a uh, our other selector that we used is this one I'll just copy and paste it um, so this link here is a link inside of body text but it's also an important link and what's happening is uh, my a body text space a is sort of worth 11 points. So specificity, um, what it is, it's how specific our CSS is. So what's happening is this is worth, uh, all tags are worth effectively one point is sort of how it works. And then all of my classes are worth 10 points. So if I had three classes, I'd have 31, just for an example. Uh, so even though I've put an important link directly on that link, it's not coming in because this selector is winning. So my A body text is more important than this one, even though this is an important link and that one should be winning. So that's kind of annoying um, and can sometimes get these annoying problems that come up. So uh, what I could say here is that uh, I have my important link. My important link is also uh, let's just do a comma and say that this is dot, uh, what did I call that body? Whoops, it's not a dot, dot body text space dot important link. So my important links inside of body text. And hey, look at that. Now they're both the same. Come back to here. And just to show you, this is now worth 20 points because it's two different classes. So, or I guess I should have done this one up here. So obviously this one, which is 20, is bigger than 11. So this one wins out. And I'll put a link to this in the description below if you want to play around with it a little bit. But you can imagine then if I have another div over here that has another name and then my important links aren't working and I have to add another selector to it and then another one and another one, it can get annoying. So there is a way around this, um, and it's by putting a space and then writing important. But it's a super important not to abuse important. Uh, so I'm going to save that and refresh and just show you. Uh, if you put important on something, it means it's just going to overwrite all the time pretty much. So if my important, if I have my important link uh, is color yellow, because this is important, it doesn't matter how specific anything is, this, this is going to overrule any other CSS rule. Some people abuse important and they start throwing it on everything. Either they've done a bad job of organizing their website or they've done a bad job of organizing their CSS and it just gets into this important battle. Because then if you have two things that are important that are on the same thing, 
you run into the same problems that you had before. So whatever you do, important is a last case scenario, like, okay, this is going to get annoying and I have to make a whole bunch of selectors when I should only need one, go for it. Most of the time, you shouldn't need this. This is a last ditch, like, okay, this one thing needs it and that's it. It's not something you're going to use all the time and I can't emphasize that enough. So that's it, that's, that's CSS selectors, just a little deeper dive into CSS selectors. Nothing too crazy here. I hope you liked the video. I hope you hit the little like button right now. If you haven't done it on any of my other videos, hit the like button. And if you haven't commented on any of my other videos and you've made it this far, we're like 15 videos in or something like that. If you haven't commented yet and you've watched 15 of them, leave me a comment below and say I've made it this far. Just let me know. Even if you don't like them, I'm guessing you like them if you're 15 videos in, but you get the point. Let me know. Say hi. Say I like the video or it's confusing or anything you want. Just give me some feedback. I really appreciate it. 